Hello, everybody. My name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to Invasion of the Halloween Fiends. Yeah. Uh, this is by grandfa my grandfather, Games. They're the same dev that did Bite Night, which was a very funny and uh, very good uh, horror game about a clumsy vampire. Yeah. Uh, this one is a first-person retro horror game that takes place on Halloween night. Strangers keep visiting you looking for candy. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, some of them might not be so friendly. Will you be able to survive Halloween night? Yeah. Uh, came out yesterday. Um, and the dev actually sent me a key. Thanks so much. Really appreciate that. Uh, I'll have a link in the description. We'll check out yourself. It is $3.49. Sick. Cool. Also, uh, I have a new light up here. I'll include a picture. Yeah. Thank you to Korg on my Discord server. They sent me the uh, Terrifier Neon Lamp from Spirit Halloween. It's U uh, US only, so you had to ship it over to Scotland for me. Really appreciate that, bud. Thank you so much. Cool. Um, I think we're good. Let's do it. Boop. My grandfather. <laughs> what an interesting name for a uh, for dev. Uh, burn my mouth. I actually made my eyes water. Oh my god. Hot coffee. Invasion of the Halloween Fiends. Have, have y'all noticed that Halloween, like, isn't that big of a thing this year? Like, I've been seeing Christmas decorations since, like, September 1st. Maybe that's just a UK thing, but, like, Halloween just has not been much of a thing this year. All right. We're in. Uh, it doesn't look like, look like a trick-or-treater. Should I go see what they want? <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Uh, hi. Hey. Hey. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I already love this. Hey, it's me, Squeaky Clean Mikey Dean here for all your tutorial, tutorial, extra territorial, and janitorial needs. Are you all alone tonight? Yeah, my parents are way out of party. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, <laughs> gotta call this house need a tutorial. Uh... Is that right? Arrow keys are for. Okay. Uh, yes, please. Hey. Awesome. So it's Halloween night. So here's some info. Mm -hmm. Let's cover some. Does he have an eyeball in his stomach? Or is that just a very wide belly button? Or is it a scab? A little bit scabby. Uh, let's cover the basics. He used to interact. You're talking with me already. So it looks like you got. <laughs> it looks like we got a smart one. <laughs> Z to make the text button on the bottom of the screen appear. Oh, okay. Left mouse is throw items that you're holding, okay? Q is drop <laughs> items. R is to eat candy you're holding, got it. Let's give it a go. Some things like that dresser can be opened by clicking E. Okay. <laughs> Inside the top drawer should be a nice old piece of candy your grandma left. Ew. Uh, I know that because she's one of my clients, if you know what I mean. Are you fucking my grandmother? Pick it up and click R to eat it. Okay, talk to me when you're done. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, oh, mm, that's some good candy. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Hey. Good job, doing what you're told. Now let's see if you can handle uh, handing out some candy. See that candy bowl right there? Yeah. You can spawn unlimited candy by clicking E on it. Oh yeah. Pick up the floor candy, give it to the trick-or-treaters. Mm -hmm. Just FYI, you only give one candy to one kid, okay? That's the ringleader. You know how kids are these days with their organized crime and pyramid schemes. <laughs> now go ahead and try to give me two pieces of candy. 
And then talk to me when you're done. Okay. So boop. Boop. It's one out of two. Boop. Boop. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. I love this guy so much. Well, kid, good job. You might just make it through the night, after all. I gotta get going. Lots of dummies Maybe out there. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. that so walking cycle. Yeah. Wow, I must be the newest residents of Flavortown. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my this god. This one's quite delicious. Huh. That one was just okay. Love it. All right, so who's this little mouse? Hello? Oh. Is that collectible? Do I need to find the different mice? <gasps> it's Bite Night Jr. Oh my god. That one has like a real face. Okay, floor candy for you. Come here. There we go. And then he said just one kid, right? But what if I... Okay. Trick or treat. Good evening, kids. How's it going tonight? <laughs> Great. Guess what our costumes are? Uh, A cool jazz musician. I'll, I'll be serious. A vampire. <laughs> Woohoo, you got it. <laughs> Guess what I am. Guess what I am. You're a turtle. Hee <laughs> hee. A turtle? <laughs> Love that. Wah! Wah! I'm crying! Wah! Damn, kid, I'm sorry. Here's some more candy. Teehee, thanks. See you later. Have a safe night. Uh, bye, trick or treaters. Time to find the knife in the drawer and carve these three pumpkins on the counter. You should have done that a while ago, actually. All right, before I do that, I want to look around for more mice. Like you. That is a rusty, dusty, crusty knife. Ew. Okay. Let's go back here and look for... Found you. What? Are... So what are the mice? These gotta be like collectibles. Wow, our guy really loves Halloween because he's putting decorations up where people can't even see them. Hello? The music in here got all funky and then turns off whenever I leave. Why? I see you. Come here. Yeah. Okay, can't go outside. There's another one. Yeah. Any more rats? Any more meese? Mice? Oh, wait. There's upstairs, too. Yeah, like decorations up here as well. <gasps> it's, it's the wolf from Bite Night. The one that... Dracula has to fight. I love our giant wolf boyfriend. Come on. I see a mouse. Boop. Friday Night Freaker. Is that another game they've made? It's on Steam. I think it's just Bite Night. Love you so much. I love you. You're great. That's my father's secret room. I'm not allowed in there. What do you mean? Your father's secret room. Is that his, like, masturbatorium? Okay. I don't see any mice in here. Is, is there one hidden back there? No. Okay. I'm obsessed with collectibles. The bathroom gets all... It has, like, music that plays. <gasps> There's some on the ceiling. Rude. Uh-oh. Okay.
Uh, open that. Open that. All right. Abrupt end of the hallway. All right. I'll keep an eye out for. I love you so much. I want a six foot tall, seven foot tall? That's pretty tall. Seven foot tall wolf man for my house. Boo. All right. I think it's good enough. Uh, we'll keep looking as the game progresses because I want all the mice. I bet it's going to be an achievement. Cool. Uh, let's get this dusty, crusty knife. I have carved a pumpkin in forever. Uh, let's put this down. There you go. Sounds like some trick-or-treaters are coming. We Damn, we went all out for Halloween. This is insane. What up? Oh, I love this one. Mike Myers, love you too. Damn, this one's huge. Uh, here you go, Mike. You can be the ringleader. This one looks like an eyeball. <laughs> Whoa, super scary outfits. Haha, <laughs> you look super creepy too. But I'm not wearing a costume. So scary. <laughs> See you later, loser. Hope your kids develop a severe peanut allergy. Damn. That's not very nice. These kids do suck, though. All right, let's plop you down. Okay. Okay. There you go. So each one has like a predetermined spot. I see. Boop. There we go. Hell yeah. Can you interact with the cobwebs? <gasps> Look at you! Blip, blip, blip. It's Vamp! Wait, you're not a kid. Blip. Blip. I'm not giving you any candy. You're an blip, adult. Blip, blip. Now get out of here. I would totally give him candy. Get. Have a nice visit from Vamp. You didn't make him cry, did you? Cries him bleh. That's so sad. I would totally give him candy. Also, my eye is watering. One sec. God damn. My allergies, bro. Okay, there we go. My allergies are kicking my ass right now. Uh, yeah, so there's a bang on the back door. Uh, that's bathroom. Here we go. <laughs> Is that a pentagram made of candy? Michael Myers, you clumsy fuck. Oh my god. Oh, acrobat. Whatever that was. I, it sure made me hungry. I just take my pizza upstairs. I'm not going to comment about the pizza pentagram. Where did he even fall from? Ah, uh, I can't walk off the porch. All right. Well, I guess it's snack time. Let's go have a pizza. Love you so much. I sense the presence of greatness may be arriving soon at my door. Okay, what? What? What greatness? Is he Naruto running? Oh my god. 
Hell yeah. Is this a mummy? Oh wow, it's the local legend, Tinfoil Man. You look so cool. Tinfoil. <laughs> That's right, it's me, a Tinfoil Man. Fighter of evil, preserver of food. You're so heckin' cool. And you're the, your costume is the best I, best one I've seen all night. Tinfoil. Haha, <laughs> silly citizen. This outfit is more than a costume. It protects me against enemy brain control rays. Wow, stylish and functional. Who would have guessed? Tinfoil. That's right. Now, little Jimmy or Susie, or whatever your name is, have you seen any evil doers on this Halloween night? Other than some rotten kids, I haven't seen anything to report, Tinfoil Man. Well then, if that's the case, I must go now. I haven't got, uh, I haven't got any time to waste. I can feel the presence of evil getting stronger every second on this Halloween night. I'm tingling with anticipation that a great battle will happen tonight. And I am this town's only hope to survive. So cool. Good luck with your fight against evil. Tinfoil man, away! Oh. <laughs> okay. Bye, tinfoil man. Oh, shit! Hope he's alright. Oh, god damn it. My camera keeps shutting off. One sec. So annoying. I'm glad I caught that, like, right when it happened. I checked the footage just to make sure it wasn't, like, ten minutes ago. Damn. Hate when that happens. Anyways. I'll have to keep an eye out. Also, what is this? God, I'm just going through it today. Allergies, camera fucking up, green screen saying hello. Shit. Hold up. Is Tinfoil Man about to get jumped? Oh my god. Wait. 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 <laughs> what just happened? They took Tinfoil Man. Hope he's alright. I should probably be brave like him and watch the VHS scary movie upstairs. Alright. You're so cute. Alright, um... Oh, right. Friday Night Freaker. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm just shoving it in the TV. Got it. I'm sit on the couch. Hold on. Immediate, immediate snoozing. Oh geez, must have fallen asleep watching the movie. Must be getting pretty late. What is this? Oh, this is the gas station from Bite Night. There's some trick-or-treaters at the front door. Time to hand out some candy. And one sec. Yeah, this is the gas station from Bite Night. There he is, yeah! Alright. <laughs> what? Alright. These are just straight up aliens. With snatched tiny little waists. All right, well, here you go, whatever. Um, oh, it's the middle one, okay. The middle one is the leader. <laughs> what is this? I just talked to the trick-or-treaters now, okay. Whoa, cool costumes. 
It's sweet you guys all dressed up the same. Haha, <laughs> you guys are having... Are you guys having a fun night? Oh, the silent type. Well then. Take me to your leader. Haha. <laughs> um. Bet you guys are fun at parties too. I'm gonna go now. What the fuck? Uh, I need to turn off the lights before I go to bed. Alright, before I do that, let's... Oh, wow. A flavor explosion. Humana, humana, oh, oh, humana, humana, oh, humana, humana, oh, that's some new candy, oh, that's some new candy, flavor party, flavor explosion. I'm like, I'm stuck. Am I stuck on the candy? What's happening here? Or am I just too fat? What's oh my god, what's happening? Wow, I must be the newest residents of Flavor Town. Oh, I'm crashing the game. I see. So the more candy you spawn in, the worse oh, it gets. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Explosion. Oh, like a wow. flavor party. Oh, so wow. Like a flavor that party. Oh, wow. Oh, salty. That one was just and okay. sweet. Oh wow. Salty and yeah, sweet. I am I am fucking this game up. Alright, oh shit. Alright, let me reload really quick. Hit myself with the door. That's nice. Alright, let's turn the lights off, go to sleep. I was gonna see if I could get like a tummy ache. Ah oh, fuck. Do I have to go pick up the mice again? I do, son of a bitch. All right, well, I have to go turn off lights anyways in all the rooms, so might as well do that. Again, why the bathroom? I'm so confused. I can't open that. So confused. Turn the lights off, huh? Who's speaking? Who <laughs> who was that? Okay, I got that one, got the one under the TV, got the one in the bedroom, got the two in the garage. Seriously, I had to get myself a giant wolfman statue that just I woos at me when I walk by. <laughs> I, I legitimately think that is so cute. Ow. Getting ready for bed. Who is talking to me? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Alright, I don't think there's any mice in here, so let's turn that off. The last one is my my boudoir. <laughs> what the hell was that? I should look around and find out. Okay. Was that a little dude? Are these the are these the dolls from uh Goosebumps? The little puppet? What up, bro? <laughs> I bet you're wondering why we're here. You see, we are the magical gnomes of Halloween. <laughs> and we have seen that you have been such a good little hollowkin. So we decided to give you the opportunity. To win one Halloween wish. 
You must answer the following five questions right to get your Halloween wish. <laughs> but if you fail, it will be your doom. Do you accept the challenge? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Excellent choice. I can tell you are a smart one. First question. Which direction is the spooky land of Antarctica? What? <laughs> South. Ha ha ha. Interesting choice. Because it was the right choice. On to the second question. Would you rather fight a man with pumpkins for hands or a pumpkin with men for hands? Uh, alright, let's think this out. So, a man with pumpkins for hands, I feel like they would just break. Then a pumpkin with men for hands, would they also have arms and, like, a mouth they could bite me with? Let's go with a man with pumpkin for hands. Ha ha ha. Wrong answer. Oh, shit. Clearly a pumpkin with men for hands was the correct answer. Because the men would be so very small and stuck to a pumpkin, which cannot move. But now that I'm thinking about it, a man with pumpkin for, pumpkins for hands would be very vulnerable. His hands would be oh so very soft and tender. Alright, I see your point. You passed this question. Let's carry on to the final question. A math question. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, the horror. Uh, legitimately terrifying. Okay, let's see here. You just got back from trick-or-treating. Inside your pillowcase, you counted 127 candies. Okay, do I need to get my calculator for this? Close TikTok. <laughs> I sat here for about like 15 minutes, letting my camera recharge its battery a little bit. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so 127 candies. A spooky ghost comes along. The ghost steals 37% of your candies. Okay, so... Uh, 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 uh. So, okay. So he took... 46.99 of my candies. Okay. The ghost steals... Okay. Uh, an evil werewolf then creeps in through the window. Scary, right? <laughs> The werewolf decides to steal a goblin's toe worth of candy. Then comes the scary vampire. Oh. He feels bad and gives you two pieces of candy. You wake up in the middle of the night to check your sack. How much candy is remaining? Uh... What? What is a goblin's toe worth of candy? And then two... Okay, wait. Okay, so... 127 minus... The, uh, both of these are completely wrong. Alright, I'll just... I'll say... This one. Wait, what? Oh. Nobody's ever gotten that question right before. Never in all my time. Wait, I did it? <laughs> of course, oh, of course not. Is that to be, of course not? <laughs> I should have known you were a fake hollow kin. <laughs> it is time for your doom. Oh, uh, I see him up there. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> where am I? Maybe that old man knows. Uh, oh, hey. Yoink. Damn, you're shiny. Hello? Oh. They brought you here too, huh? Those evil Halloween gnomes. <laughs> I love the, the little voices in this. Like, ah, hee hee hee. If, if I could only get my hands on them. How long have you been here? Hmm. Oh, about maybe since last Halloween, I'd say. You've been stuck here that long? Yep. Stuck in between these four walls. Have they been tormenting you this whole time? Mm, no, not really. They have kind of left me here with my thoughts. Been kind of nice, actually. 
I've had lots of time for self-reflection. I figure once I get out of here, I'm going to start all over. Maybe open a small snack bar on the coast. Have you been doing anything else with your time? Uh. Screaming mostly. Wanna hear? No, not really. Ah. Okay, I get it. Ah. Fantastic. Ah. Who the hell has been screaming? This dude over here. Ah! See? <laughs> Be gone, old man. I no longer have any use for you. Wait, no, please! Now's your chance to put your skills to use. Ah! Oh. Wretched old man. Well, at least now I have a new plaything. Well, well, you were trapped in my dungeon for committing an act to foul on Halloween. What? This time, however, I will not make the, make the mistake of keeping my plaything around all year. Damn, Void hasn't finished ripping his soul from his body yet. Well then, if the Void isn't working too well tonight, I suppose I will just crush you between these four walls. Please don't scream as much as the last one. But why? Because I'm evil. Time to die now. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Hello? Are they moving? Oh, oh, the room definitely is getting smaller. I think they move whenever I'm not looking. Yeah, the room's definitely getting smaller. Here, I'll just spin around a lot. Ah, the wall's closing in. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I saw that. That was a big move. Ah, no! Help! Uh, no, seriously, what do I do? Strange dream. Wake up from your dream. Oh, so no actual Halloween gnomes? Alright, did the mice come back? No? Good. What was that dream? Anyway, sounds like somebody's at the door. <laughs> okay. He's like, what a strange person. That's a, there's a strange person at the door. I should talk to them through the window, uh, but keep the door closed. That's like, actually scary. Oh, and he has a crusty knife. All right, here, come on in. Oh, damn it. Uh, hello? It's kind of late to be trick or treating, don't you think? I would move, if I was the dev, I would move that continue bar, like just below the text box. Because, like, covering up the characters is kind of strange. Sorry, but we're out of candy, too. Damn, what's this guy's problem? Can you hear me? I said we're out of candy. I'm gonna go now. Maybe try another house. They might still have some candy left. Why is he just looking at me? I should probably phone my parents about this. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello? Mom, there's a guy here and he won't leave. What do you mean there's a guy there? There's a guy standing at the front door and he won't leave. Is he a trick-or-treater? I don't know. Maybe. He's really tall, though. Taller than me. Well, is the door locked? Yeah. The back door, too? Uh... Did you lock the back door? I'm not sure. I'll call you right back. And you lock the back door fast. Okay. Okay, I need to phone mom back. Uh, let me check upstairs really quick. God damn, I can't get through the hallway. What the fuck? 
Okay, Father Secret Room. Let's see if that was open yet. Uh, it looks like he went away. Oh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hello? Mom. Is everything all right? I think the guy tried to break into the house just as I was locking the back door. Are you sure? Yeah, he shook the door and everything. Okay, sweetie, everything's fine now. It's probably just somebody pulling a Halloween prank and trying to scare you. Did the guy leave? Uh, I don't see him anywhere, so I guess he left. What? He's right there. See, honey, it's just a prank. Me and your father are just about to leave the party. We won't have a phone while we are driving, so try and get some sleep until we get there. There's nothing to be afraid of. Thanks, Mom. Mom? Mom! Oh no, the power went out. He's literally right there. I see you. Go hide upstairs in my room. Alright. I'll see if he got struck by lightning. Uh, also... I'll take that. Oh. No, the wolf gave me away! I think he just broke in. I need to look for something useful in the searchable drawers. Okay. Nope. Oh, wow. That definitely was not there earlier. Locked and loaded. Find the gun. The hunter has become the hunted. Stop giving me away. Hello. Jesus. You just kind of scared me. What's the creepy, ominous music? Oh, shit! I take his mask off and reveal the identity of this monster. I have a bad feeling about this. I should step back. Shut up. Uh, I'm pretty far back. Do I need to get farther away? Bleep blorp. Bleep blorp. Oh, what the fuck? An alien? Are all the Halloween ghouls trying to get me now? I think my parents are at the front door. Mom, Dad, I don't know what happened. There was a guy and he broke into the house. He chased after me with a knife. I don't know, I didn't know what to do, so I shot him. I thought he was dead, but then I think he turned into an alien? I'm so sorry. Why aren't you saying anything? Mom, Dad? Weep Glorp, I have to get out of here. What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Giant pumpkins! Oh shit, I think it's kind of like forming an arena. Shoot the aliens. Don't mind if I do. Wow. Kill. 
Legally binding homicide. What? Blind Ender. Bystander. Wow. Wait, they do it? But I was shooting them. My hand? My gun? They playing catch with it? I should go talk to the aliens and see if he got me my arm back. Um. Explore. Puny human. You thought you could defeat us? We are going. God damn it, my camera. Alright, we're back. I don't know why my camera keeps turning off. Son of a bitch. Stop that. Yeah, you. Talking to you. <laughs> uh, that's what your kind gets for being greedy and not sharing your candy. But I did. Please don't kill me. I don't understand. We came to your planet, and at first, you met us with open arms. Every place showered us with gifts of gummies, chocolates, and inedible squishy rocks. You call candy corn. Fucking hate candy corn. Disgusting. But as the night went on, your kind became more and more hostile to us, eventually yelling at us or refusing to answer the door. We even tried to disguise ourselves, but to no avail. Due to this greed, you shall all perish. Wait! This is because people stopped giving you candy? Yes, tiny human. Your wrinkle-free organ is correct. Is he talking about my brain? This is just a big misunderstanding. You guys probably went trick-or-treating all night until really late. Or bleep. What is trick-or-treating? You aliens came on Halloween. The wonderful night of the year, everyone dresses up and collects candy. You silly aliens probably kept asking for candy way too late into the night and people got mad at you. That's why people stopped giving you candy. Not because they hate you, but because Halloween is over. Wait, you don't hate us? Well, I don't know about now. Oh my gleep glorp. This is embarrassing. I'm sorry about your arm. Guys, this is a big old misunderstanding. Who are you talking to, man? Stop the annihilation. Is there anything I can do to make up make this up to you? Can you reattach my arm? I'm an alien, not a wizard. Sorry, buddy. So if we just come back on Halloween, you guys will share your candy with us? Uh, you'd have to ask the government, but maybe, yeah. Wow, you humans are so nice, innocent, and peaceful. Well, looks like it's about time. <laughs> looks like it's about time to hit the old dusty trail. Sorry about the mess. Everybody, back to the ship. Captain, that human killed Gleepglorp inside his house. Wait, you killed Gleepglorp? Gleepglorp was my 512th son, you monster. Please, I was scared. I didn't know what else to do. I was defending myself. Hmm. I should probably kill you for killing my son, but I did kill your parents and everyone else you know. Also ripped your arm off and destroyed your town. And hit you with an invisible beam that makes it so you can no longer enjoy the sweet taste of candy. Which has a side effect that makes it so you can no longer have kids. Wait, what? So... Let's just call it even. Huh? Bye-bye, insignificant human. Thanks for the tasty Halloween treats. Can't wait to visit you again next year. The end. Reach the end of the game. Happy Halloween! They sterilized me? And I can't eat candy? Shout out to White Bad Out of You. Good shit. Uh. What up? I thought you died. Tinfoil. 
No worries, citizen. I have arrived. Now, where are those dastardly aliens? You're too late, tinfoil man. They already left. Tinfoil. Ah, I knew it. They must have been too afraid of tinfoil man to fight me, so they ran away. Uh, I don't know if they ever even saw you. Tinfoil. Ha, ah, silly child. Clearly they could feel my static charge aura and fled the battlefield. Wait, didn't you get hit by lightning? I thought you died. Tinfoil. Nonsense, tiny brain. That was simply me charging up. But that old man carried you away in a body bag. Oh, the wizard? He simply took me to his lair under the highway overpass and fed me health potions. Tin foil. Anyway, enough, <laughs> enough with talking about how great I am. This has been another great victory for...